It's not a bird, it's not a plane, and it's not Superman. For years now, people have reported seeing strange human-like figures flying in the skies above. Reports of the so-called unidentified flying humanoids come from all over the world, but the bulk of sightings seem to come from the western portions of North America and Central America. In this episode, we'll take a look at some of the most compelling video evidence of the mysterious flying humanoid phenomenon. This first clip was filmed in Monterey, Mexico back in 2006. Not knowing what to think, locals feared the entity was a witch. Others speculate the flying mass is nothing more than a cluster of balloons tied tightly together. Okay, so it's not 1080p high definition footage. Nowadays, poor image quality often points to a hoax because it's the easiest way to mask obvious signs of digital manipulation. But keep in mind this was filmed over a decade ago, back when the average consumer camcorder was far less sophisticated than the current standard. The image quality and resolution is consistent with what you'd expect from an antiquated video camera. By 2006, digital cameras were fairly ubiquitous, but older VHS camcorders were still in wide use. This clip is reminiscent of an analog VHS recording in appearance, but this is just my personal speculation. I couldn't find any information about the camera that was used to film it. Though it's difficult to tell exactly what we're looking at, experts agreed the footage had not been tampered with. Clip 2 was filmed by a gentleman named Ed Sherwood on November 27th, 2004 in Santa Monica, California. Like the previous clip, the low-resolution footage is consistent with the quality of camera commonly used at the time. Another thing it has in common with Clip 1 is that many have pointed out its resemblance to a cluster of balloons. After doing a frame-by-frame -frame analysis of the footage, I have to admit the balloon theory is more plausible here than in the previous video, but that's just my personal opinion. I have to give some credit to well-known skeptic Joe Nickel for putting his money where his mouth is on this one. Instead of simply reciting a plausible sounding but untested explanation, he put the balloon theory to the test. Displeased with the results of his first attempt, he tied the balloons closer together for his second attempt. More satisfied with his second attempt, Nickel believes his balloon demonstration is sufficient to put the flying humanoid mystery to rest once and for all. What do you think?
Hey everyone, Drew here from Mad Cat Mysteries, and I hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. If you did, you can click on the subscribe button below. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.